is the story of sheer luck if you believe in such a thing, or the story of a miracle in hard time Grays Ferry. The story of how a man's belt buckle saves him from a bullet, a stray bullet that was not meant for him. I bet you're feeling really lucky today, huh? Uh, yeah. Have you played the I'm lottery? Born... No, yes. <laughs> I'm born today. 38-year-old <laughs> store clerk Bienvenido de Noso says he was born again today following a harrowing ordeal. He was inside the Eight Brothers supermarket at 2600 Tasker, getting ready to take a hand truck outside when a shootout broke out in the street. When I go outside, I hit the, the shot. Wow. I go to the floor. Reynoso hits the floor when moments later a pound cake falls by his head that was struck by another bullet that may have also struck him had he still been standing. As it was, he didn't immediately know that he'd been struck. I don't feel nothing. You didn't feel anything? Nothing. Well, what caused you to look at your belt? Yep, well, I check it out with my, my, my body. Shortly thereafter, someone pointed out to him that he had a hole in his shirt. And then he noticed the bullet. There it was, stuck to his belt buckle. It right there. It hit right there? It, yeah, it hit it right just, there. The bullet is stained right over there. It, and what went through your mind when you saw that bullet there? <laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> That's it in the mind. Unlucky. Oh my God. Tonight, he was showing a cell phone picture of that bullet stuck to his belt buckle to any customer willing to listen to his story. Let me see. You okay? Hey, what you doing? Oh, you got wow. lucky. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Wow. Thank you, God. In another remarkable twist of fate, at the time the wild shootout broke out, the store owner was supposed to be giving out free water rice to kids, but he was running late. This happened like 10 minutes before I was supposed to start. Otherwise, there would have been a whole bunch of kids here yeah, so lined people, up. All these ice. people would be here. So, you know, a lot of, a lot of people could be hurt. So I thank God for not, you know, nobody got hurt. Now, today, Noso, who is Catholic, says his mother prays for him every day, and tonight he especially thanked her for that. Now, while police continue their investigation, he says he plans to get another job because he does not want to test his fate twice. At South Detectives, Dan Cuellar, Channel 6 Action News.